My first piece displayed in the order of being made is Rock's piece number one. The materials used in this piece were watercolor, black sharpie, and colored pencil. In comparison to my later works, the circles and outlining in sharpie in this piece is not as well defined and sharp, which shows my development over time. This piece, called Prints, incorporates the materials of print ink, tissue paper, sharpie, and colored pencil. This is one of my weaker art pieces in my opinion because it is not as flawless as my other works and it does not include the techniques I normally use and am better skilled at. In my third piece, Leaves, I create a leaf print by carving a visual of a maple leaf into a piece of wood and then stamping it onto the piece of paper as though it was falling from a tree. I also use tissue paper, watercolor, and sharpie for materials. This is my first well-used incorporation of real-looking objects in my works of art. In this piece, called Butterflies No. 1, I use a variety of materials including watercolor, tissue paper, black sharpie, colored pencils, and oil pastel. This piece is my favorite, for it is what I believe is my most successful incorporation of mixed media. This piece, called Triangles, consists of numerous triangles painted in brown watercolor with an additional triangle of red inside them. The triangles I left empty, I drew organic rock-like drawings in either red or brown sharpie. In this piece, Deer, the materials I used were blue and green sharpie, colored pencils, watercolor, and internet images of deers. This piece differs from other pieces that I have made, for I use cool colors instead of the warmer colors that I normally use. If I could remove one piece from my portfolio, I would remove this one, since it, since it does not give me the same feeling of warmth my other pieces do. In this piece, Rock's piece number two, I used watercolor and black sharpie. In order to make the flawless white lines, I had to think ahead and put masking tape across the paper before I started painting. In addition to painting, I then used sharpie to draw my rock-like pattern onto the watercolor. This piece, named Butterflies number two, is made of watercolor for the dripping circles and butterflies, black sharpie for drawing over the watercolor, and with numerous colors and shades of sharpie to draw rock-like drawings amongst the piece. This art piece, called Lines, is simply created from gluing down tissue paper with water glue, then outlining in black sharpie in order to give contrast and separate the different shades throughout the piece. This piece, named Rock's Piece Number 3, is similar to the technique in Rock's Piece Number 2, in which I made white lines by taping lines on the paper. I then watercolored inside the lines and finally used black sharpie to make a pebble-like look. This artwork I call Wax is an encaustic piece of work which I made on a solid all wood canvas. First I layered tissue paper and outlined it in black sharpie, then cut out circles of similar colors to the tissue paper. I outlined some of the circles with sharpie and then added these circles in as I put the encaustic on. My most recent piece, Rock's piece number 4, consists of 4 squares taped off on the edges and then watercolored colored with yellow only watercolor. As I did in the other rock pieces, I drew rock-like shapes with black sharpie. The inspiration for my work has come from the Bauhaus movement, but most importantly has come from my love of nature and the need to incorporate it into each art piece I make. The technique I use most often and use in the majority of my work is the use of rock-like organic shapes. Even though I like using this technique because it is easy, I enjoy it most because it calms and relaxes me while creating an element of simplicity. I see my role in the art making process as one that helps to combine the environment around me into artwork in order to feel one with the natural world. I make art because it calms me and when finished makes me happy to have made an art piece that is significant to me and who I am.